Hi, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. To get straight to the point, I have discovered that not all 32-bit float audio recorders use dual or even more analog to digital converters. Some recently released devices either certainly do not or probably don't. Why does it matter? Because 32-bit float files created with a single converter contain only 24 bits of data for each sample, expressed as a 32-bit float value. And that means that there is close to no point in using that container. There is no audible difference compared to using a 24-bit container. The data is the same. Let me say at once that I'm quite a fan of using 32-bit float recorders which have dual converters. These do enable a wider dynamic range to be written to the 32-bit float file because one converter handles the loud bits, the other the quiet bits, and then their output is combined to make a stream of values which could not be contained in a 24-bit file. I discovered what is going on when someone on the excellent tapers section forum mentioned in passing that in the manual for the Zoom H4 Essential, which is advertised as a 32-bit float recorder using dual converters, it says that only a single converter is used except when recording from its inputs 1 and 2. That made me realise that single converter 32-bit float files are possible. I then remembered that some lower cost 32-bit float file recorders don't mention dual converters in their publicity. I'd assumed that these days dual converters were a given and not worth them mentioning. But when I saw a video on the Tascam YouTube channel announcing their new DR07XP recorder, which also didn't mention dual converters, I asked in a comment whether it has or not. Back came a comment from the company claiming that it does have dual converters and stating that 32-bit float files can only be created using dual converters. That struck me as odd given that Zoom disagree. I emailed Tascam asking for clarification. Back came a reply stating that the company's engineering department stated that the DR07XP recorder does have only a single converter. I then reported this in the YouTube comments. The Tascam representative there said that he is their product specialist and that his job is to know every Tascam product inside and out better than anybody else in the company. I'm quoting his words. He finished his comment by saying, and I quote again, I am sure you know this already, but 32-bit float can only be achieved by using two ADC chips. There is literally no other way to do it. So when I tell you that this recorder has two ADC chips and records in 32-bit float, believe it. I then challenge that in a further comment, saying that the confusion was not good for the company's reputation and suggesting that someone more senior in the company should address the matter. My comment was almost immediately deleted. Today, I saw that the responses I have quoted have been removed by Tascam and replaced with the following response. 32-bit float recording and dual ADC technologies do not necessarily go hand in hand. Dual ADCs give a far superior dynamic range, sure, but with a single ADC, 32-bit float recording is still possible and the clip gain can still be adjusted as such without any degradation. The only real difference between one or two ADCs is the disparity in dynamic range. So now the truth is out. This device does not use dual converters and it does not offer the dynamic range enhancement that dual converters provide, despite the use of 32-bit float recording. It is hard not to think that the 32-bit float label is purely for marketing. 
This is confusing for prospective purchasers who, like the highly expert product specialist at Tascam, are likely to assume that dual converters are used, even if not stated in the publicity. I strongly suggest that any company selling a 32-bit float device with a single converter should state clearly that it's only got one converter in the publicity and they should be very careful what they claim the single converter writing to a 32-bit file container actually achieves. I'm aware of two other devices which record to 32-bit float files but which do not claim dual converters. These are the Zoom H1 Essential and the Zoom H2 Essential. I have asked Zoom whether or not they have dual converters. I will update the description of this video when and if I get a reply from them. I will also add notes about any other devices that may not use dual converters. For instance, do all those wireless mics that record in 32-bit float use dual converters? Many don't seem to say. So, bottom line. When buying an audio device which states that it records to 32-bit float files, don't assume that it uses dual converters unless it says. And if it does not use dual converters, the benefit of 32-bit float recording is highly questionable. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your purchases.